Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh-huh. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll see. It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Uh, is this the place? Aha! Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Huh? Uh... Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. I I'm sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. Uncle Dai, aren't you gonna test them? Huh? I... I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses... Uh, never mind, Zhang Li won't lose. A contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I admire your enthusiasm, good sir. <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. Stop talking the talk and start walking the walk! I'm just saying it like I see it. <laughs> which is, incidentally, the only skill I have worth talking about. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. We arranged to meet here. Huh? How could you forget something like that? I saw him on my way over to Liyue Harbor, pouring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with them. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. So... Fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Ah, a keen eye! It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining, my intuition tells me that there's high-quality crystal ore inside. Remarkable! This rock does indeed hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped it straight up. The seller thought it was some leftover industrial remnant. They had no inkling of the treasure that lay within. Purity and geological rarity alone aren't enough to make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. In the moment of its formation, the crystal hidden within this stone shell captured a pocket of water. For water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. Such a detailed description. Almost like he saw it with his own two eyes. 